what's up guys welcome back to my channel it is 7 22 a.m it is thursday june 1st so it has been four days four or five days since the lehigh valley classic i hope you guys enjoyed all that show show day footage <laughs> i know i wasn't able to get a lot uh, that's because it just I really wasn't focused too much on filming and I forgot to tell my mom like what class I was in and all that stuff so it just whatever um, so this video obviously by the title is gonna kind of sum up my thoughts about that show and what my plans are going forward so I got second call outs at that show which I talked about on Instagram like it's fine. I didn't really go into anything this show expecting anything. I was hoping to place yes because that would my whole goal this season is to requalify for nationals. But like I said, I wasn't expecting anything. I knew I wasn't as conditioned as I could be. I felt I looked pretty good for being 7 months postpartum for prepping for you know basically since January I've been prepping for that show since January and my body just wasn't responding as well as I had expected or hoped for so going into this show like I said obviously I had hoped to place but I didn't really expect to um, everyone who competed at the show looked fantastic they everyone who placed so well deserved and I have just as much fun backstage as I do on stage so it was still a great experience I made some new friends met some friends from Instagram I had a really good time on Saturday regardless of placing or any of that um, so with that said I did uh, come home and I didn't film any of my like post-show treats. Basically, I had a donut after I got off stage before I drove home. I changed, I drove home. I actually ate my chicken and asparagus meal that I didn't eat backstage. And then I had half a pint of Ben & Jerry's dairy-free ice cream. So that's that. And that's what I did and then the next day I got right back to tracking macros uh, yesterday was actually my birthday so I did track very loosely though I know I went over my mom made me baked oatmeal I don't know I was just craving baked oatmeal I wanted something that I could loosely track but that I also wanted to eat so had baked oatmeal I had a couple um, tasty cake mini peach cobbler donuts those were good. Kevin and I went to Blue Marsh, walked around the lake, and it was just a really nice day. I did have to work yesterday, but even regardless, it was really nice to just spend time with him and with my family. My grandparents came over. It was just, it was a really good day. Um, so, anyway, I'm talking about post-show, and I kind of got off track. <laughs> yeah, it was a really great time. Um, for my first show of the season, I, I can't complain. You know, it is what it is, and I'm at peace with what happened. I Obviously, I did cry. I was very upset, very emotional. I cried when I got home. That doesn't make me a sore loser. I didn't cry because I didn't place. I cried because I felt like I failed myself. I felt like I could have pushed harder. I felt like I could have done more. I felt like I could have just been better, and so I cried. I I was upset. I've been emotional the last couple days. Uh, I know I have a lot more to give to this prep. I'm not done. This isn't. This is just the beginning. I'm not done. Uh, I like I said. I have so much more to give and so much more work to put in. I know I can crush this season and requalify for nationals. Whether I decide to compete in my first national show this year or not is to be decided yet. We will see. Uh, so, going forward. Anyway, like I was saying before the sw street sweeper keeps rudely interrupting me. Going forward, I do plan on competing again. I did reach out to a coach 
um, Monday night and I've been talking to him for the last couple days just kind of working things out getting a plan together um, talking about rates so I have reached out to a coach I, I just I can't do this by myself anymore I can make decisions for other people and I can prep other people. Erica and Allie have both done amazing. Allie is going to compete again, most likely in about eight to ten weeks. So I'm super proud of her for how she did on um, on Saturday. Her posing was on point. She looked gorgeous um, and she had fun. That was all that mattered. For her first show, I'm so proud of her. She did so great. But. I can make decisions for other people, I can prep other people, but prepping myself this time around just proved to be much too stressful. I overthought every little decision that I had to make and I questioned myself a lot and you guys were here with me, you saw that. I questioned myself every step of the way. I wasn't sure if I was making the right decision. I wasn't sure if I was doing enough cardio. I wasn't sure if I was dropping macros enough or if I should drop macros or if I should increase cardio. And trying to make those decisions on top of being there for Liam every single day and being there for Kevin and being there for my clients it, it was just too much it's too much I need someone to just tell me what to do whose opinion I blindly trust not blindly I mean obviously I want to know what why we're doing what we're doing because it will make me a better coach as well. Uh, but just someone who's who I trust to make decisions and prep me in the healthiest way possible from here on out will take a huge weight off my shoulders. And that's what I need right now. My life is so hectic. And I just can't do it alone. I can't do it alone anymore. So... Once everything is finalized, I will let you guys know uh, who my coach is, what the like set in stone plan is. As of right now, it looks like I won't be competing again until sometime in August. But once I know what a set plan is, once I have, once you know we've figured everything out and put together a set plan, I will let you guys know all of that. Like I said, this is not the end, this is just the beginning. I've got a lot more to give and I'm really excited for the rest of this season. So with that said, I must go prep my meals for the day because I work from 10.15 to 5 and I got a shower because I just got home from the gym. Still tracking macros, still doing everything like normal until got a plan from coach and just grinding away. Oh god, why did I say that? I hate that word. I hate that word. And again, I apologize for all the street sweeper noise in the background. It's just, it's so beautiful out and I wanted to film this outside. The lighting's perfect. Inside, like, our house just doesn't have good lighting. It just doesn't. I hate the lighting in our house. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video.